Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil mursalin Sayyidina wa nabiyyina wa maulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa hlul uqdata min lisani yakaw kawli Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Ashadu an la ilaha inna Allah wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna sayyidana wa habibana wa maulana muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abaduhu wa rasuluh I openly declare and bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And that the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the true and final messenger from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فقد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب العزيز بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وإنها لكبيرة إلا على الخاشعين الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز سورة البقرة and addressing the people of إيمان استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة seek the help and the assistance of Allah سبحانه وتعالى with patience and endurance perseverance and with عبادة and with صلاة وإنها لكبيرة but this is something difficult says Allah سبحانه وتعالى إلا على الخاشعين except for those people who humble themselves humble themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if there is one thing that stood out very clearly with the resistance from the Palestinian people it was the endurance it was the thibat it was the patience it was the perseverance that we need to take a lesson from that we need to learn from Jamaat al-Muslimin because this patience and perseverance we sometimes look at it lightly but people sacrifice their lives for that they sacrifice their blood for that they sacrifice their limbs and when we sit comfortably here in our homes in Cape Town and in South Africa and at the tip of Africa then we can't see the value of that sabr. We can't experience the value of that sabr because this is so great by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it is seen in the deen of Islam when it is entrenched in your heart. When you apply that sabr, that patience and perseverance and endurance in the right place then it is a a, a, a dalil it is a proof of the strength of your iman and ulama puts it under al-akhlaq it is a strength of your iman when you apply that when you can imprison yourself it is a strength of iman when you confine yourself because or let me say in arabic they say it means like you imprison yourself and you prevent yourself from going all crazy. Preventing your tongue from running because why? I want to say my thing. I want to express myself. Preventing your limbs from doing anything haram because of that word sabr because of being able to withhold yourself the opposite to that in arabic is called al jaza and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of the people of the jahannam and allah ta'ala says in surah ibrahim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim sawa'un alayna ajazi'na am sabarna ma lana min mahiz it is not going to be of any benefit whether ajazi'na that jaza am sabarna it's going to be of no benefit to us whether we are going to explode 
whether there is going to be anxiety, whether we snap, whether we fall apart, whether we go into a panic attack, they say, or whether we show patience and endurance, because in the Jahannam there is no other way. There is going to be no escape. So therefore, Jamaat Muslimin, when the word Jazai use, it means that you are too, too weak and incapable to handle the situation that is unfolding in front of you and in your lives. And we are faced with many situations in our lives. People are faced with poverty, people are faced with they don't have a place to stay, people are faced with loss of wealth, the loss of loved ones, and we've seen now Molana Hussein Ruda, Sheikh Musa Titus, one of our Musallis, Adanan Karam, is having the janazah of his mother today. Allah Ta'ala grant all of them Jannatul Firdaus. Amin Ya Rabbul But there is difficulties that we are experiencing. Some people don't, they contact, they don't have any income in the house. Some children don't have any parents. So, what must we do? So therefore, the Deen of Islam guides when there is pain coming our way. When you have to be solid and you have to be firm and you don't show weakness and you show honor and dignity. When things come your way, that is something that you don't like. وَعَسَانْ تَكْرَوْ شَيْرُ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ لَكُمْ وَعَسَانْ تُحِبُّ شَيْرُ وَهُوَ شَرُ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That perhaps there is something that you dislike, but it's good for you. Says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala But at the time when it happens to us, it doesn't feel good. You feel pain, or you feel hurt, or you feel insulted, or you feel down, or something. And perhaps there's something that you would like, but it's not good for you. And here's the cracks. Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and you don't know. And how many times have we gone through difficulties and calamities and sadness? And then we stand and we stand back and we say, Oh, if that didn't happen, then this good would not have come to me. Or if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have known about this. Or that and the other. So, Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and we all don't know. Jamaat al-Muslimin, if we are going to walk intelligently on this dunya, then we have to be fully cognizant that there is a constant battle. There is a constant battle between good and falsehood. There is a constant battle between good and evil. The things are in, unfolding in front of us. The difficulties, it just looks like it's just continuing. It looks like there's no end to the night and so on. And there's just nothing I can do about it. Illa. Except antarika to sabr. Except the endurance that you carry with that. Except the bravery that you show in terms of that. Except the steadfastness that you show in terms of when it comes. dunya darul mamar wal akhirah darul makar. The dunya is a continuous thing, it will happen all that. But the akhirah is your final abode. Alhamdulillah, here we settle down. Right? So, on the dunya we slay. We sweat, we say, normally we say blood, sweat and tears when we are working towards something so that we can get there. We come in contact with people that is not always on the same like-mindedness. We come with different moods and the people come in front of us, they have different interests, there's conflict of interest between me and this one or that one and so on. They have different goals, they have different objectives, so it's not going to be just an easy ride. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal insan, innaka kadihun ila rabbika kadaham famulaki. Says, O man, O oh, oh mankind, you are laboring towards Allah. It's not easy. You are laboring towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a great exertion. There's a lot of things that you must all ex experience and go through until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
there is a lot of effort that you have to do, great effort in order to attain what we all have in our minds as ideas and ideals and so on. There's a lot of troubles to go through, but the end of the road is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where we will be taken account for whatever there is. But about the Muslimin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at your sincerity and my sincerity. Looks at how sincere is my slave really. And you and I both know that only Allah knows and I know. People don't really know how I feel inside. What I show on the outside is a different thing. <laughs> only you and I know. And when you understand it, of trying to build up your ibadah, trying to be Muslim in certain places. If you're a Muslim, and that's why we must be thankful where we are in South Africa. And we must protect what we have. You can't even show you're a Muslim. You can't even act as a Muslim. You've seen the laws that France has just passed. Supposedly democratic Europe. The nuns can wear the... Let me say niqab. The nuns can wear a niqab, but a Muslim woman can't wear a niqab. And so on, and so on, and so on. So what does it mean for us as an ummah? means be awake. Be awake of what is happening around. Your day can't just be every day. It's just the norm and whatever is just happening around me. Yeah, you must show when you're in this kind of difficulties and we've seen our Palestinian brothers and sisters going through that they show wisdom in their sabr wisdom in their sabr they get locked up and you see them smiling I do this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hmm? you've seen the things here of that John Fawcett that took over that house he's a khamors he's a drunkard he wants the dome of the rock to be nuked that is the, not that the innocent one of that first video that they showed me. He is the one that targets the Muslim girls, the Muslim women. So therefore, we must be awake and we must have strong determination. Ya iwaladina amanu sbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attakullaha la'allakum tuflihun. Allah Ta'ala weaken us every time. Waken us, it says, Yai waladina amanus biru. Oh, you people who believe, persevere, endure, warabitu, remain stationed. Wattakullah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you may be successful. When we look at the Palestinian thing, the one thing that jumped to my mind, Mullah Saad rahimahullah, had always said at different places when we had this meeting. Inna nasr ma'al muqawama That victory comes from resistance You can't just be a blow away in it Al mu'min al qawi khayrun wa hamba ila Allah min al mu'min al da'ir Says the Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam The mu'min that is strong Is better and more loved in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Than one that is weak So therefore jamaat al-Muslimin when we sincerely believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have that endurance, then we will overcome. Then we will overcome. But remember, Allah will always test you where you are. It will always be there. Allah ta'ala says in Surah Muhammad, ayah number 31, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ وَنَبْلُوَ أَخْبَارَكُمْ Says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will test you, there will be an imtihan, we will test you on different things. We will see, and then we will see, whom of you are really striving? Whom of you are really showing sabr? Endurance, perseverance. Who is showing that? Says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we will test you in your affairs. So it's coming, this is not the akhirah. This is the dunya. So you can't go sit in your corner and cry, Ya Allah, this, da, 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 and cry to everybody. Look at my life, ni. You must do something. You must get up and do something about it. That is the deen of Islam. The Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam gives us a bushra. 
by glad tidings. When the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam says, Ma yusibul muslimah min nasabin, wala wasabin, wala hammin, wala huznin, wala adha, wala ghammin, hatta shawkatu yushakuhu, yushakuha illa kafra Allahu biha min khatayahu. Says the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, that whenever a Muslim is afflicted, suffers from difficulty, continuous pain, anxiety, there's grief, pain, there's injury, there is even, you know, when you walk onto a thorn and it goes into your flesh and you shout with pain, even that thorn prick that you get, except that it's an atonement for your sins, for your wrong. Allah wipes away your sins with that. For the difficulties that you go through as the Ummah of the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya ayyuhu al-ladhina amanu kunu kawwameena Lillahi shuhada'a bil-qist Wa la yajrimannakum shana'anukum min ala an la ta'adiluhu I'adiluhu wa akrabu lit-taqwa Wa attaqu Allah inna Allah khabirun bima ta'amalun Even in the face of aggression The Deen of Islam says in the face of oppression Stay just Stay just. After difficulty comes ease. Now who is the greatest that has gone through difficulty? Remember Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا يَوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابَ That the reward of those people that show sabr, their reward is that their hisab, their account by Allah Ta'ala, there will be no hisab. May Allah make all of us. Amen. There will be no... For that sabr, look how great it is. For that sabr that you show. For that perseverance that you show. For that endurance that you show. For that patience that you show. Now let's go to and we'll finish up with this. Because we want to also... We are experiencing a third wave, Jabhat <laughs> And we need to be cognizant of it. And I want to remind everybody in the masjid and whoever watches this video, I see we are back to taking hands again. We are looking for trouble. It's breaking out on different places and at the schools and, and this kind of thing. And you see that people are being hospitalized and people are dying. So we will try and rather curtail our speaking. But let me at least just say that the Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam, you Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam, from the dirt of the ground thrown onto his head. Sabara. Show patience, perseverance. Najasa. Full. Thrown onto his back. Sabara. Choked until he could almost not breathe anymore. Sabara. Pushed out of his place of, of stay and went up to the hijra. Sabara. Thrown with stones. At Ta'if, Sabara, his teeth were broken at Uhud, Sabara, his face, the skin was torn for Sabara, his, 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 his uh, nose, the blood was running continuously and the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam shown patience and perseverance and endurance and all of that. I ask you, you and me, when these things happen to you, somebody throw you would say, Somebody take the durban outside there and throws it onto you. Hmm? Somebody swears at you. Somebody throws you with stones out of Ta'if. They swore at the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. They threw him with stones. And whatever the case may be, Sabara. The Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, sits down, but never ever took revenge for himself. Allah Ta'ala sends Jibreel comes, there was a cloud following the Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam from the sun, giving coolness. And Jibreel comes, the Nabi Alayhi Salatu looks through and Jibreel comes and says, Ya Rasulullah, Allah has appointed Malik al-Jibal, the, the Malak of the mountains. Just say what? Al-Akhshabain, this Jabal Qubais that we've heard about, and Jabal Ahmar, the other one, if you order, then he will turn it on them. What did the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam say? He said, ah, my longing is rather that Allah Ta'ala will grant that they will come from the people that will say, La ilaha illallah. 
That is the height of patience and sabr to the Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those people. Allah ta'ala make us min al-muttaqeen wa min al-muhsineen wa min ibadi salihin wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.